In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a PowerPoint slide on party invitation. So let me just show you how the slide works. As you can see here, I have created this kind of envelope design and I've put the text invitation and this text can be replaced with any of your text. And when I click the first card comes uh, I have put the option number one welcome you can add some icon here and then you can add some detailed text and when I click with different color combination it will come it will show you the second option with uh, it says to welcome to and then the third comes my party welcome to my party you can see here I have added some different icons so depending on your requirement you can just change the text or add or delete some extra cards likewise i have added one more slide where i have just changed the animation so this is the second slide and it comes from the bottom like it is coming out of the envelope this is the first one then comes the second and then the third so depending on your requirement you can choose it should come from the top or within the from the envelope and if you have not subscribed to my channel powerpoint university please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon you can join my telegram group with the help of this link and if you like to contribute to my channel you can do it through paypal or patreon the link is provided in the video description section i have used office 2019 version to do this however with older version also you can do it so let's start the tutorial add a new slide and change the background to any gradient fill background then go to insert shapes from the basic shapes i'm going to select the triangle draw the triangle maybe this much size and you can increase the height a little bit so later on also you can change it shape outline you can make it no outline and shape fill i'm going to give white or you can give some gradient fill also for that right mouse click format shape fill i'm going to select gradient fill by default four stops are there i'm going to delete two stop so one stop i'm going to make it white and the other stop i'm going to make it somewhat gray color you can see here and then you can just change the direction whichever direction you want and then i'm going to duplicate this by pressing ctrl d and then i'm going to rotate it right 90 degrees all right and then i'm going to put it here reduce the height increase the width you can see here something like this and then send this to back all right and this one you can increase a little bit the stop the gradient stop all right so this is done press ctrl d to duplicate rotate it the other side you can see here i can rotate it to flip horizontal and then i'm going to put it here and send this to back all right and this one i'm going to duplicate this one and i'm going to give one color only which is any color of your choice blue golden or whatever give that color and put it here this is just to give some border only all right and then i'm just going to put it something like this i'll just move it somewhat top yeah so you can see here just kind of a border effect nothing else if you don't want it's up to you so once this is done let me just add for the back side press ctrl d to duplicate and i'm going to give a uh, one color only solid fill and i'm going to give somewhat dark color and i'm going to put it here all right and then i'm going to add one more uh, this time i'm going to add one rectangle one small rectangle i'm going to add it here shape outline no outline shape fill if you want you can give a further dark color and then send this to back so you can see here the envelope design looks something like this now once this is done what i'm going to do is uh, you can add some options or if you want to give more realistic things i'm just going to select this both press ctrl d to duplicate and i'm going to fill this color with black all right and then increase the transparency effect here this is the shadow effect i'm going to give and i'm going to put it something like this you can see here a little bit and send this to back sorry send to back okay send back yes so you can see here 
now it got more a kind of a shadow effect also so once this is done let me just go to insert shapes select the rounded corner rectangle draw the rounded corner rectangle and this one the curves drag this outside a little bit curve we need shape outline make it no outline and shape fill depending on your requirement you can choose any color of your choice so let me just select the green color first and i'm going to maybe reduce the size i'm going to tilt a little bit like this you can see here and then i'm going to send this to back all right and this also we have to send this to back so it looks something like this this is my first uh, design so for this i'm going to insert text box and i'm going to type number one here all right and make it white font make it bold increase the size i'm going to put it here the option number one and you can add your detailed text i'm just going to type welcome and white again any good font of your choice center align bold increase the size and tilt it according to the shape and i'm going to put it here and go to insert icons i'm going to choose uh, some icons related to uh, the party so let me just uh, uh, drill down further and then i'm going to choose something like this maybe you can see here we have got a different different uh, shapes so i'm going to select this icon and this icon i'm going to fill this with white color if you want reduce the size or keep it like this and then go to insert text box i'm going to add some detailed text and unwanted text or the long text i need to delete it let me just delete it center align white i'm going to choose the font called hand of sean reduce the size again align it properly and tilt it a little bit and that's it so this is my first uh card i'm going to select all this by holding the shift key and press ctrl g to group it all right and then let me just send this to back all right so this is my first thing all right now i'm going to bring it somewhat down press ctrl d to duplicate and here i'm going to give some different color combination maybe this kind of orange and i'm going to say option two i'm just going to type two and here you can change the icon if you want and i'm going to tilt it the other side all right and then let me just put it here format send back okay so this is my second option like this all right and then uh, for example if the space is not enough so i'm just going to bring it more down you can see here further down okay and then i'm going to add one more option press ctrl d to duplicate and this time i'm going to give some other color all right so this one three i'm going to say welcome to my party all right and then maybe i can reduce the height and then i'm just going to place it here something like this send back just click and that's it so now if the if you feel that the size is not enough it is going outside then select all by pressing ctrl a press ctrl g to group it and hold the shift key reduce the size you can see here something like this put it exactly in the center and then right mouse clip uh, uh, sorry right mouse click and group and say ungroup and then i'm just going to move it somewhat up so you can see here i've got good space now to move it here and this time maybe you can move the other side whichever way you feel better so you can see here so welcome to my party and if you want you can add some shadow effect at the bottom press ctrl a to select all move it a little bit up go to insert shapes select the oval shape draw the oval shape like this shape outline no outline shape fill fill it with black increase the transparency level go to the effects soft adjust increase the size you can see here i have added some shadow effect at the bottom 
and once this is done you can do the animation effect for that let me just go to the animations enable the animation pane i'm going to select the first one add animation if you want you can try fly in maybe fly in it should come from top all right so welcome and double click this one if you want you can increase the bounce and click ok so it comes something like this then select this one animation painter i'm going to select the second one again animation painter the third one all right so if i play it comes something like this and then you can insert text box here and you can say that invitation all right and then i'm going to center align choose any good color maybe a green or whatever and then i'm going to choose the font called vivaldi if you don't have you can just download from the net and i'm going to put it here the invitation here so with this we have completed the design and if you want you can just uh, save this as a uh, mp4 format also as a video file and you can send it to your friends for to call them for or to invite them for the party